I'll start now, Plakta. Yes, please do so, Sophie. Okay. Oh, Compass of Hades. Guide Plakta's soul! being able to stand eye to eye with you. <laughs> I feel the same way. This is like a dream. Having you able to stand next to me. What are you talking about, Sophie? This isn't a dream. It's unmistakably reality. A reality more splendid than any other that you made possible. Now, let me thank you properly, Sophie. Thank you for giving me a body again. Thank you. For working so hard for my sake. Papta! I'm glad! I'm so glad! Sophie, there's nothing to cry about. This is a happy occasion. Looks like it's all done. Sophie started crying all of a sudden, though. That was more surprising for me. Hey, Oscar, you shouldn't say things like that. She worked really hard. Let her cry a little. We got to see something really great, Atomina. Yes, I'm quite impressed, Mechlet. But I'm really glad it worked. To be honest, I was a little scared. The doll parts were all made by others. They're all really skilled, so I didn't think there would be a problem there. But I was the one who made the Compass of Hades. I was worried about that not working. If I failed and you disappeared, Plakta be all alone in the Atlier again. I wasn't even slightly worried. I believed in you, Sophie. Lacta. Yeah, thanks. Oh, right! We should go show you off to all the people who helped us. Um, no. I said before that such spectacles were unnecessary. Don't worry about it. Let's go! Hey, those two have completely forgotten about us! <laughs> yes, but they both seem very happy. We were thinking about leaving soon, but I don't know about leaving without telling our host. Yeah, that's right. I guess we have no choice. We'll just stay and have tea until they get back. That sounds good. I'll go prepare the tea. You're late! How long were you going to make us wait? Huh? Monica? And everyone? 
We were waiting for you. You ran off all of a sudden, and we couldn't just leave without telling you. Oh, I ate way too many snacks. Oh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> I didn't think our tea time would end up being this long. Oh? I had fun. I don't mind. S sorry I ended up talking too much. This isn't your fault, Sophie. It's been a long time since I had a proper conversation, so I got carried away. It's fine. Anyway, we'll be going home now. Oh, okay. Thanks for coming over today. Also again, I'm really sorry. No worries. Just be sure to help out at the store again. Sophie, we really got to witness something splendid today. See you. Farewell, Sophie.